it's at 100, he said 50, what would you part for it with? It's Wednesday morning and I have six eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. First is this Medicus 5 iron. I showed you guys this last week. I got it at the garage sale for a dollar. I just sold the driver as well. This is a double hinge club. It's kind of like a training aid. This sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next is a Broncos helmet right here. This is a full-size replica Rydell. Keep an eye out for these because they do pretty well. I paid $5 for that at a garage sale. Sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Next is over here an F2. This is some kind of board game or card game or something. Invisible Ink. Can't seem to remember where I got this. You know what? It might even be a PC game because it says minimum requirements for your computer. Yeah, I guess it's some kind of PC game. I had this listed for a while and just wasn't getting any hits. Somebody sent me an offer of $8.10 plus shipping and I accepted. All right, next we're going over to D4. This is an old East of Eden John Steinbeck book. I pulled this from the storage units. This is from 1952, and when I was looking up comps, it turns out that there is a typo on page 281. Um, I guess the word bite is in there, and it's not supposed to be there, so makes it a little bit more valuable. Uh, this sold for $49.99 plus shipping. You can make money selling books, but they're few and far between. It's got to be something special, unique, rare, or something. For the most part, I'd say 99% of the books that you see out and about at garage sales or thrift stores just aren't worth money basically anything you see that's like mass produced you know it, it just comes down to supply and demand there's so much of that stuff out there but not a big demand for it but if you see you know oddball old vintage rare unique stuff you know pick it up if it's cheap you know and the more you start selling the stuff the more you'll kind of figure out what to look for so keep an eye out for books don't always just walk by them okay speaking of books i sold some more books both of these banana boxes are full of them. I pulled all these out of those storage units. Let me take them down here and pull them out and show them to you guys. All right, these are the Harvard Classic sets. They made a lot of these. So I think almost every year they seem to make them, or maybe like every so often. These are from 1937, and they're in really good condition too, considering their age. There are 51 of them total, and they sold for $189.99 plus shipping. They're going to ship medium mail. The buyer paid like $37 to ship them. And I think I'm going to have to ship these in two different boxes because total weight of these is like 65 pounds. Okay, next is some wrenches. These are 20 Craftsman wrenches. Pulled these from the storage units I just bought. A uh, big variety in here. There's some metric, some standard. They sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Last week I spoke a little bit about the social climate in our country right now and I started a fundraiser for the NAACP Legal Defense Fund because a lot of people are peacefully protesting and getting arrested for it and you guys were incredibly supportive. A lot of you bought merchandise on my Teespring store to help that fundraiser and raise them some money. Other people were not so supportive. I lost a lot of subscribers that day, but it's not a big deal. I was kind of expecting it. But everyone who purchased an item in the store, I just want to thank you so much. Everybody who left comments on that video of encouragement, I want to thank you. It really means a lot to me. And I know there's some other people that didn't necessarily buy something from my store, but messaged me and said that they went ahead and donated to the NAACP anyway. So guys, thank you so much. I'm going to show you how much stuff that was sold and we're gonna go ahead and make that donation now. All right, here's my Teespring store and here are all my sales for the last week. You can see these big spikes where you guys jumped on and bought a bunch of stuff. Um, total profit is a little over $400, but we're just gonna round that right up to $500 and make a donation. So let's go to NAACP LDF, that is for their legal defense fund, and we are gonna donate. Look at that, they even got a button for 500 bucks, that's perfect. Well, that's cool, they let you pick where your money goes to where it's needed the most. All right, I'm gonna block that. That's all my credit card information, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit donate $500 and it's in. Guys, thank you again. I know that that money will be put to good use. And I also wanna give a special thank you to my wife, Whitney. She has a channel called Be The Village. Uh, I'm in it sometimes too. It's all about our journey as foster parents. After I made that video and I lost like 100 subscribers or something, Whitney posted something on Instagram and a lot of her viewers came over and subscribed to my channel. So babe, thank you so much. And I also want to thank all of the subscribers from her channel that came over to mine that stopped by and said hi. And I just really appreciate all your guys' support. Got something in the mail today and I know exactly what it is. And I'm pretty excited about it too. So I'm gonna pop this open and show you guys. Look at this. Does that look familiar to anybody? 
So this is my old GoPro Hero 3. I gave this away on my channel over a year ago and a fellow YouTuber that goes by ONL Flips, he won it. His name's Lucas, he makes garage show videos too. And this got some more usage of some garage shows. And he just messaged me and said that he got a new GoPro and he thought it would be cool to give this away again and kind of just, you know, see it live on with another YouTuber or whoever, you know, somebody that could get some use out of a GoPro. So he asked if he could send it to me if I give it away. I said, absolutely. So the old GoPro will live on. So if you guys want this old GoPro Hero 3, super out of date, but you know, still gets the job done leave a comment on this video and you'll be entered to win. And I'm pretty sure these are all the extras that I had thrown in with it when I gave it away. There's like a housing case, a tripod, there's a chest strap. I think there's some extra batteries. So that'll all be thrown in too. All right guys, we're gonna end this video with a garage sale. I rarely see garage sales on Wednesdays, but I saw an ad that looked really promising there was some stuff in the pictures that i knew that i wanted so as always i'm going to take you guys with me and we're going to see what we can find how you doing how are you? do you still have your sewing machine yeah it's right here everything's negotiable okay um if there's anything else in particular you are looking for let me know i can point where it is okay some junk but some good stuff yeah so. <laughs> And also some stuff that is not for sale, but is in our garage, so yeah. How much are the games? Um, you know, like $1 or, you know, the more you buy, the cheaper they become. Okay. Well, that pricing works. is in effect. Yes, yes. <laughs> Under here, like, this is like all kitchen, and there's like so much Tupperware, and like there's a Cuisinart and stuff underneath also, so. How much for gloves? A dollar? I swear this. Yeah, I'm almost Everyone positive. have that? <laughs> this is my set that I use till today. Do you need some It's some not extra? corny. Mine is officially Corel wear. Oh. But I kid you not, Corning owns Corel. Oh. This is the exact pattern. Well, have you broken any? You might no, have I have. Up. I have it. Especially okay. that little thumb thing. <laughs> I saw those and I was like, I don't see any of the dishes. <laughs> I'm like, Corel is pretty uh, durable. Yeah. Do you have any systems? Um, I swear there's like an Xbox in the basement. If it's, I have to check with my brother to make sure I can get rid of that. Okay. <laughs> if you really want it, let me know. That's yeah, awesome. sure, I'm leaving my number. Okay, yeah, that'll work. To be honest, I'd be interested in that, but you can buy a new at Walmart for 80 bucks. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I, this is my mom and my aunt's house and they combined household, so that's why we're getting rid of stuff. She told me she bought it for 400 She may have. At the time, yeah. But, yeah, yeah that's just like. Well, it's it. negotiable, so if you're like 80 bucks or whatever, then let me know if she's inside, I can ask her. I think she would part with it for 80 Yeah, definitely make sure everything's in there. <laughs> Well, there were some empties, but I think I might have just found them in this case here. Oh, okay. <laughs> they were a little mismatched? Yeah. Very possible. A pull-up bar. Maybe you guys need that. I have a row. <laughs> um, but you need one on every doorway, don't you? <laughs> That's true. They have some of them. Alright, I've got one, Maximum two, three, seven. four, yeah. five, six, <laughs> seven. seven and a half. Or exactly oh. ten. Exactly. Yep. Okay, cool. And I have Venmo too if it's easier. Sure okay. I want him to be able to crawl up on the bed by himself. What? <laughs> Will she do um, freedom. Will she do 50 on the sewing machine? Uh, let me check. Okay. He can get on all the couches by himself. So, price at 100, you said 50. What would you part for it with? Seb? I think you were telling me 70. The lowest you would go 70. With. I mean. This barely used. My daughter said she was a fashion designer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if he doesn't want it for seventy, I'll take it. For I'll that. take it for seventy. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah, that's how it goes with kids. You spend all your money and then they change their mind. Right. Oh, thank you. There you go. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. I appreciate that. That turned out to be a pretty good sale. I got ten video games. I think there's five Xbox One, three Xbox Three Sixty. A PS2 original Xbox. Those are all a dollar each. 
they're not great titles. I might end up having to just like lot them together. I don't think they're worth a whole lot of money, but still, a buck a piece, I had to pick them up. I got a couple movies for myself, but the best find by far was this Brother Sewing Machine. I saw this in their pictures, and it is the Project Runway edition, and this sells for about 200 bucks. They had it priced at 100, and I offered them 50, and we settled on 70 bucks, so I'm pretty happy to pick that up. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.